I've already opened the 3D LUT workflow, so I'm going to go to Next, the Hardware Connect page, Find Meter. I'm going to select Klein Instruments. We're using the brand new K80 colorimeter. Select my COM port, hit Search. I'm going to select LCD LED as the meter mode. For source, it's going to be the IS Mini, so we're going to select Manufacturer Fujifilm, Model IS Mini USB, hit Connect. For the 3D LUT device, it's also going to be the Fujifilm IS Mini. I'm going to hit Connect. Now the Fujifilm IS Mini also has 1D LUT support inside of it. It has an input 1D LUT and an output 1D LUT. We're also going to use the 1D LUT in the IS Mini before we create a 3D LUT. We want to do the output LUT because it's closer to the display than the 3D LUT. Essentially you want to calibrate the display as well as you can, then do the output 1D LUT that's closer in the signal chain to the display, and then do the 3D LUT. You don't want to do the input 1D LUT that's where this selection is. So I'm going to set it to output 1D LUT. Just to make sure everything is reset, I'm going to run the full DDC reset button. We'll go to next. This is where you would select your calibration standard. We have Rec. 709 BT1886. If you were calibrating to something, say, P3, you could select, if you were doing it for the digital cinema with the different white point and gamma 2.6 gamma you would select DCI if you were doing D65 P3 then you would select that here but for this display we're going to calibrate it to Rec 709 and BT 1886 now we're at our pre-calibration measurement page we're going to run a read series it will take a minute or two and we'll come back after the results are in Okay, we're done taking measurements. We're going to go to next. Okay, now we're on our performance analysis page and all four are green. We'll go to calibrate cube LUT. And since the IS Mini were directly integrated, CalMan is with its 1D LUT, we can actually hit the AutoCal button. And we're going to run an AutoCal of the 1D ramp, which fixes the grayscale, gamma, and white point. We have an option of how many points we want to actually adjust. Now the Fuji IS Mini, its 1D LUTs are actually a 10-bit LUT. They have 1,024 entries. So essentially this is how many points we're going to measure and then we do uh, intelligent interpolation in between those points. I found 31 is a happy medium between 16 and 61. If you get good results with 16 then that's fine, but I usually just start with 31. You'll hit OK and it's going to run through its AutoCal process for a few minutes. So what it's doing is doing a closed loop feedback of calibration where it's taking a measurement, it's seeing the results, it's in real time sending the what it thinks would be the correct values for the LUT to the box and taking another measurement and then iterating on that until it gets below our delta E threshold we've set. And then it starts stepping down through all the bit levels of adjustment. Now our 1D LUT has been calibrated. You can see our delta E average is really low. So this is a good place to be before we build our 3D LUT. It makes it so the 3D LUT doesn't have to do as much work in the grayscale area, which is good because then the 10-bit 1D LUT is much more detailed than the grayscale spline of the 3D LUT. If your device does have an option for a 1D LUT, it's advisable and recommended to do the 1D LUT first. So then the 3D LUT can kind of just fine tune everything. So we can go to next. And now we're going to build our 3D LUT. I'm going to do a point based one. Three thousand points. We're going to hit OK. And this is going to run, and we'll be back 
when the LUT is complete. The calibration is now complete, so I'm going to hit the OK button and go to the next page. The 3D LUT has automatically been loaded into the Fujifilm IS Mini. Now we're going to measure our post calibration measurement. We'll be back after the measurements are complete. Our measurements are complete and our grayscale delta E average is 0.4 and the color checker is 0.6.